García Tavares. I'm from Spain. I'm a physicist and I'm working here at European X Belt as a software developer. I was uh, doing my PhD at CERN before in Geneva and then I moved to, to Germany. So basic science drives knowledge and this how functioning societies and democracy also brings country the opportunity to be competitive in the global economy. Basic scientists aims to understand the universe by observing and analyzing physical, chemistry and biology processes that happen in nature. Also here at the European Expo, science that is being carried out is framed in a way that this also answers societal challenges. This could be health problems, climate and energetic problems that our current society is currently facing. Also, it's important to remark that this uh, basic science normally imply a, um, a drive uh, the existing technology to the limits. So in order to perform certain experiments, we need to improve the existing technology and this has an enormous impact in the society because it leads to more um, to more um, to better technologies, not only to better technologies, but it also drives companies and industry to the next step in, com in being more competitive in the in the global economy. How we can see this at Excel Feld, at the European Excel? We can see this in the superconducting magnet that you, you that use in the in the accelerator because this. Uh, superconductivity, the things we, the thing that industry learn can be then later applied for transporting energy, or in the case of the instrument, they use detector to detect the X-rays and can be later used in the medical applications. So I think um, one very important breakthrough would be getting more efficient renewable energy. So we know that now the renewable energies are very like it's a very hot topic, and people really want to to get all countries can want to get almost all the energy based on this on these resources. One of these samples is the green hydrogen. So a green hydrogen is a, refers to a method to obtain the hydrogen in a clearer way. So hydrogen is now um, once it's been has been investigated for the past years, and many industries want to use it as a source of energy. But the main limitation is the way that is obtained. So green hydrogen is obtained by splitting water into these components, hydrogen and oxygen. But this process requires a lot of energy. So scientists at DESI, by using the, the accelerator, the synchrotron PETASI, and uh, trying to understand how this process can be uh, performed with, uh, with less energy. So these, pro these studies could be potentially continued here at XXFEL, where we have a, X -ray, a bright X-ray, and where we can study this chemical reaction that happened in a, in a short time uh, with, a, with a more resolution. Thank you.